needed to play Schizmo. He knew he was like, I need this guy to be off stage. I need him to be in the corner. I need him to be right above me. And he just kept him there time and time again. So really great stuff. But now we're going to go on into our next match. These guys are going to go ahead and pick the classic PS2. We're going to be seeing a whole lot of that <laughs> this tournament, man. I like that guy's shirt. The white shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's clean. It's pretty fresh. Yeah. yeah. Man, I need me one of those. I'm going to ask him after. I know, absolutely. I'm, I'm loving it, man. I feel that uh, <laughs> the, the game has matured and the community has matured, man. And the community's fashion has been more on point as of late. I love it. Is this like Ja Lupus? Is that Ja Rule's werewolf cousin or something? <laughs> ja Lupus, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. <laughs> All right. Panda King versus Ja Lupus. Peach, or sorry, Daisy mm -hmm. versus Wolf. Two very highly ranked characters on most people's tier list. Especially uh, Wolf on the rise. Yeah, it's definitely much. meta characters right now. Uh, we've seen a lot of Wolf from uh, a, a ton of players, top players, uh, but mainly also even in Japan, uh, their best player, Zakurai, uh, playing that Wolf and doing a lot of amazing things with it. So excited to see that character do well. And of course, the princesses, Daisy, Samsora, right? Slayers, Mutace, all these, all these peaches are coming out to play and they are doing it in dominant fashion. Yeah, what's cool is that I feel like not a lot of people are just picking up Peach because she's good now. It's just that the people who were playing her before are getting insanely rewarded. Exactly. Wolf though, of course, not in Smash 4. Um, I don't think a lot of Brawl Heads necessarily like, came back just to play him or anything, but nope. people have been either transitioning from Sheik into Wolf, yep. um, just whatever character they played before, and it's been to pretty great success so far. Yeah. Character we'll is uh, very solid, and you know when it comes on uh, being on stage, the character has a very solid toolkit, the uh, good juggle tools, uh, good defensive options, has a reflector, one of the best zoning tools in the game. You crazy name it. kill power, bro. Very, very crazy kill power. We already saw that down smash closing out of stock very early. Okay, gonna get that response from Ooh. Panda King. Back throw out of the corner. Of course, shaking the pressure off just a little bit. Meanwhile, Jaw Lupus with probably the best tag I've ever seen. Oh in my yeah. Life. yeah. <laughs> Okay, up there, beautiful back airs with him on the side, of course, but that fire that shot just in case we're trying to go for a float in. The dash side's not going to do it yet. An up tilt, back air, <laughs> up air, you name it, will kill at this point. Yep, looking to close the sock out just while Daisy's using that float, but uh, unfortunately not going to land any hits. Yeah, there we go, dash attack, yeah, kick is good. It. Yep, absolutely. Definitely a field goal kick, man. <laughs> yeah, for, for real, that's three on the board right now. Yep. Oh, goes for the chase down with the grab, but John Lupus able to just get out. And we see this scramble, the rolls back and forth. Both players kind of unsure how to proceed from here. Still sniffing each other out, you know, figuring out what the uh, the habits are in exactly, neutral from each of them. Exactly. Oh, that was a very good sequence. Oh, I'll, I'll that's the win. Yeah. <laughs> I love hitting with that, man. It's oh, yeah. so much damage. So good. Oh, yep. Can't stand there haphazardly, man. You got to make a choice. Another chase down with the dash attack. Yes. Blaster to interrupt. Oh, yeah. I love that. He actually is one of the few people I've seen hold the smash for more than one second trying to trick an opponent into right. landing too early. I call that the smash ultimate pop quiz. Right? Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> it's like, I know you read the spark notes. Exactly, if right? falling for that. <laughs> oh, Up catch. smash yes. right off of that, and there's so much of a, a horizontal hitbox on that. Man. Absolutely. Very, very, very stellar tool. You have to respect that move. Of course, uh, being able to hit on both sides, that means if you touch that shield, you're know, right, you are dead. All right, so I feel like this matchup, not necessarily heavily slanted in either character's favor. Just need to see the Daisy player get more of these down air combo starters, down tilt combo starters, yes. and also the low pressure with float aerials. Yeah, we've not seen really a FC or float cancel aerials, really coming yeah. out and those things are going to be really strong because of course as we all know when you are playing smash the best way to have frame advantage or mitigate your frame disadvantage is always to go ahead and utilize an aerial closest to the ground right yeah of course because you want to land right after their absolutely, end shield stun. absolutely yeah. and that's why float canceling is so good because it makes sure that you're already at that spot you don't have to jump and fall all the way down as other characters so it allows you to pressure at a far quicker pace Nair, I believe, is minus two on shield when fresh. Really, really strong tool. Uh, but we didn't really see that from him. Uh, again, like you said, he, we didn't see any uh, down tilt combo starters either. And that's really what you want to see from from Daisy or Peach as a whole. I like this. He's going to go ahead with the Lucina. Lucina can definitely do some work, especially get some quality edge guards. Uh, but let's go to this game two. 
Yeah, another very popular top tier kind of choice here from Panda King. So maybe he's not like a legacy Peach player. He's just like, hey man, whoever's good, I'm playing him. Yeah. And again, that kind of goes into what you were actually saying. That right? like, again, it can't just be someone who's going to pick up the character because it's you're, that character functions very, very differently. Oh man, that could have been a stock. Oh, the parry on only the first hit of forward tilt, but he still had enough time to yeah. punish it. You see Panda get that tech chase. The side B putting himself back on the board here, closing this gap, but Jalupas with another great start in this match. Yeah, okay, are we going to see a chase? I Man. love that empty hop to keep that juggle up. Absolutely. Yeah, it seems, though, from panicking, we're, he's having a lot of trouble. Once he hits Wolf at that stage, we never see him really chase preemptively. Oh, oh, man, yeah. That's a heartbreaker, just oh. barely missing the sweet spot on the up B. Yeah, in this game, you do have to be careful. Uh, you are not going to auto-snap in that kind of situation. Yeah, Lucina's up B, a little bit tricky, man. Sometimes, like, I'll, I'll just be playing, I'll go for an up B, I'm like, why did you not grab? Right. Oh, and Jalup is using the up B just to kind of make himself a threat on his way back down Absolutely. to the ground. Could have been punished for sure, but panicking, not calling the bluff. Yeah, and one of the things, though, is that move, even though it can be punished, it's a lot harder to punish than you would think. It's actually a very, very solid tool. Uh, great mix-up option, too, in tandem with a Wolf Strong Aerials. Yeah, a pretty big hitbox, too. So yep, definitely absolutely. Got to give the Wolf Flash uh, some respect. Or sorry, that's side B, right? I don't yeah. even know what his up B is called. Is it? I, I think it actually is Fire Wolf. Really? There's yeah. no fire? Exactly. Like, yeah, I remember so having us reading it, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, we got the Bible right oh, here. Of course, of course. Check. Let, let, let's, let's check this out. Let's, the let's Book of check. Genesis. Yes, yes. Let's check this out. All right. Either way, John Lupus, man, just looking so good. Even better than the first game, I'd say. But we're going to see Panda King close that out with the forward tilt. All right, a lot of damage to be made up for, but Lucina with some excellent combo starters, namely that landing up air, up tilt as well. And we could see Wolf's biggest weakness, Ooh, that offstage game, get yep. exploited. Yep, Fire Wolf. It is really Fire Wolf, yeah, man. Yeah, sorry. I, <laughs> I'm crazy. so upset. Yeah, man. me too. I feel like I knew that too from Brawl, and you I was didn't like, want to believe it. I didn't. Yeah, I like <laughs> intentionally scrubbed that from my memory. Right. Uh, good movement here, though. Jalup is playing a uh, very stellar and neutral, and it, we just have not seen any punishes on this recovery. Oh. If that went through, we would have had ourselves a match, folks. True. But instead, Jalupus, no there we, okay, jump. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. No way but, are you all reaching right, that. Okay. Wolf, such a dominant threat on the stage. Once right. you knock him off. Mm. Yeah, and there are certain situations, even though his recovery has very strong hitboxes on both of them, there's certain spacing in which he, if he does it, he's going to lose his life. Yeah. And so it behooves you to get there and meet him before he gets to that position in which he can do his side B. Up B. Yeah, you oh just kind of swat him away. Yeah. And Panda King still hanging on here. I feel like he's got a chance. I love okay. the landing up air into more. Oh, God. The read he wanted to as well. Not going to be able to complete, though. Wait a minute. Hold up, folks. We might have ourselves a game three. I like that. Dolphin Slash is going to poke right through the stage, shake the pressure. What do you have to answer this ledge trap, though? Okay. okay weak narrow. I want to see safe. him dash back and forth smash here. <gasps> oh! oh! That would have been it, Bam. Oh, I am so sad by that because... It was...